All right, in module two, we're creating a folder and a forum. So click on add an item, and we're going to click on add block. So block is whenever you're having going to have a chunk of information rather than just one item. So add block, and we're going to call this week one, or whatever you'd like. Since it's a folder and it's got course content in it, we probably want to have it show always. And we're going to have this one show as a folder as opposed to expanded or collapsed. And I'm not really sure what tree reader is. I've looked into it and I, I still can't get an answer on that. But you're welcome to explore with it. And uh, the only other thing that you might want to change in here is the color. So you can click on this and you can pick whatever color you like and then create the block. So we're going to click into our newly created folder that we call week one, and we're going to add an item. And the other thing that you're going to create here is a forum. And this forum, we're going to do auto biographies, if I can get it spelled correctly. So we're going to ask our students um, to tell them the class a little bit about themselves. And you'll want to expand on it more than that probably, but you know, basically you're going to post your instructions here and uh, anything about grading that's important. And um, click on add posting reply instructions. So it's really important to, you probably can just copy, uh, you have your description here, and that I usually put my instructions in the description, but these instructions are going to show again once the students click on the forum. So I would copy um, and paste, so under the um, posting instructions, please tell us a little bit about yourself under the replies, just reply to two classmates. Um, you know, that's just a really short description, but you'll put your instructions here and your reply instructions in here. And it's autobiography, so I'm just going to have this one show always. However, in this area, I can restrict the dates that they're allowed to post, so we'll get there in a minute. Uh, this is not a group forum, but you can learn about group forums in Move 102. It's an autobiography, so it doesn't make sense to allow anonymous, anonymous posts. However, if it were a help forum, then I would check this box. Um, it's probably okay in this case to let them modify it, but if you click on viewing before posting, this is blind posting, so students can't post or can't look at other posts until they've posted themselves. So if you click on that, you don't want them to be able to modify. Allow students to delete on posts. I never click that because I always want to see what students are posting in case something gets posted that shouldn't be, and this way I um, can go back and check. Turn on liking a post. This is a good feature. It, it's like the liking in Facebook where if you just want to like a post but you don't necessarily have a comment for it, you can click on the little thumbs up and students can see how many, how many thumbs up they've got. You can also get an email and notify of all new posts, and I don't recommend you do that, but you can. I don't change anything in the default display or the sort. And then here, I would if, restrict this so that students have to post before some date, and I like to make this um, 12 midnight. Um, and then they have until um, some date, let's say a week later, to post, and I give them to midnight on that, or 11.59. If it's in a graded assignment, then it's probably good to um, rename the calendar icon, so autobiography in this case, and then just put replies here. So if students click on the calendar, they can see uh, what it's called. And you can count this in the gradebook, say how many points you want it to be, 
click on the category. If you have a tutor in your class, then you can decide if the tutor has access or not. Tutors can be added, like instructors are added. And uh, you can pick a scoring rubric. If you don't have one, uh, then you can create one. But don't click on that until after you've created the forum or you're going to lose everything that you already did. Um, file sharing forum means that people can add files, and I, I usually click on that one as well in case they want to upload a picture of themselves. And then we click Create Forum. So here's our forum, and just to see what it looks like, um, that no threads have been posted, of course, but if you click on View Posts and Reply Instructions, then students can see what your instructions were, otherwise they wouldn't be able to see that. And then they just have to add a new thread, and they put their, what they want in here, post the thread, and it'll show up there in the forum. And just since uh, we're here, if you want to go back in the course and you click on the breadcrumbs that are up here, so I'll go back to Module 2. Um, if I'm in Week 1, um, I can click back on Module 2 to get back. If I want to get all the way back to the home page, I want to go back to Move 101, 102 online.